Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome to the HD Vibe channel. So if you like rides, reviews, tips, tricks, product installs on my Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycles, and just finding out general information about the motorcycle community and the motorcycle riding world in general, I ask that you please subscribe to the channel. And when you do subscribe, please leave a comment down below indicating that you have subscribed to the channel so I can personally reach out and thank you for subscribing to the, to the channel. In addition, I ask that you please hit that bell icon so that you do get notified every time I put out new content. So today we're in the, in the garage and I'm going to show you another Custom Dynamics product that I'm going to add to the rear of the 2019 Road King Special and we're going to get into that right after this. <laughs> So we're back. So today we're going to put another great Custom Dynamics product on the rear of the 2019 Road King Special. And this is the Dual Color Plasma Rods by Custom Dynamics. Um, these are pretty much universal fit and they fit really in between where your saddlebags and the rear fascia is on your run and break in red. And then when you turn on your turn signals or the hazard flashers, they actually flash in amber. Um, and they will also work with the Magic Strobe, which all of you know if you've seen some of my other Custom Dynamics uh, install videos, um, I do have the Magic Strobe. So I wanted to get some more, rear, some more light on the rear of the bike. Um, and this will add another level of safety to the Road King Special so that I can be seen day or night. So I'm going to get the bike set up and we'll go ahead and get this installed. Okay, so before we get into the actual install, I wanted to show you what the back of the bike looks like uh, before we put the plasma rods on. So as you can see, I have the low profile sequential bags light, bag lights here. I have the Genesis 4 uh, rear tail lights on here. I have the Pro Beam tri bar light on and then in a recent video, I showed you how to install the actual plugs, lights, I don't know if you're seeing them there, uh, but they're right in where the antenna grommets were. So, the plasma rods will actually go right along this fascia, um, in between the bag and this, this fascia panel here, and we'll add another level of light here. Um, the ones I will be installing, as I said, they're the 8-inch plasma rods. They are plug and play. You do need an additional controller um, to control the, uh, the dual uh, color. Um, and again, they are red in the run and break. And then they are amber when you go to turn signals. So um, they are actually installed with a, a 3M um, tape that will go along there. So. What you need to do to install these, and we'll get into that in detail here, is, is remove your saddlebags. Um, and that's pretty much it, just to open up the area so that you can actually um, attach the, the plasma rods on. And then you will, we will run the wire again up along the frame, along the tabs um, that we can connect, similar to what we did with the plug lights and then we will connect the controller up underneath the seat so we do need to re remove the seat as well for this install um, and so i'm going to go ahead and remove the bags remove the seat and we'll get into the actual install of the eight inch plasma rods so i've gone ahead and measured down two inches from the top of this fascia to here and the rod that will go on the right side of the bike is when the tape is on the inside and the wiring harness is actually in the top of the uh, at the top of the plasma rod as it as it sits on the bike. And what I will do is dry fit this, um, and essentially it's about lined up with that tape. I will put that about at the top, which is two inches, and then I will get this fairly even, and then peel off the backing of the 3M tape. Um, and the tape, as you can see, is fairly wide. It's actually wider than 
than the fascia. And so I will try to place this, it's a little bit curved in the middle so that it fits the curve of the, uh, the actual fascia itself. So I will get that lined up and then begin peeling that off slowly from the top to the bottom and then press the plasma rod um, in place. Okay, so I've gone ahead and, and rubbed my fingernail over the, uh, the red 3M tape and I'm gonna start by just peeling back the top of the uh, tape from the top of the plasma rod just a little bit. Then I need to get this lined up on the bike. Um, again, my, my starting point being at the top of the tape. And again, it is a little bit rounded um, on this so that you can kind of get it lined up and started and then begin to peel down the tape and, and press it into place. So there we go, I've got it on there. I'm gonna press this into place and hold it, rubbing it so that that 3M tape sticks to that fascia. And again, that, that 3M tape is just a little bit wider than the actual fascia itself. So you got some sticking points, but I think I've got it pretty well lined up. The only thing you have to be a little careful about is there is a bolt right in here that holds this, this rail in there. So you want to leave yourself a little bit of room. Um, but that should should do it. And then really the next step is to feed this uh, connecting wire up through here and hook it onto the tabs um, along the, the side rails uh, of the bike. And we'll do that and then it, you essentially then just repeat the same process for the other side of the bike. And then when you get both sides on, we will connect it into the, the uh, control, the signal controller um, that Custom Dynamics sent out along with this so that it essentially makes this a plug-and-play application for your Harley-Davidson touring bike. So again, I've, I've fed the wire through um, the, between the fascia and the frame and then I will zip tie in the same place I did for the plugs lights um, onto these tabs along the frame running the connector up into um, under the seat compartment and essentially there's one two three tabs here and then i will run that wire up between the fender and the frame and get it up under the seat compartment so that we can fully connect um, this side and then once i get that i will repeat the same process on the left side of the bike and then we should be able to put the connector um, in line with the rest of the other Custom Dynamics uh, products that are up underneath the seat. And then we'll see how these things work. So now I've got the harness controller. Um, this is one you do need to order separately if you want the, uh, the dual colored uh, flashing plasma rods. Um, and essentially you plug this in in line with the rest of your connections. Um, if you do have the magic strobes, you will need to plug this in before the magic strobe and then connect this quick tap connector in to the red on the, the braking portion of the magic strobe so that you do get that strobe effect on these. So I've disconnected and there's only really one way to do this. It's pretty much foolproof so you just plug that into the harness you've disconnected plug it into the other side like so um, and then take the connector that comes off of the plasma rods and make sure that you do get the proper side so I'm working on the right side of the bike I believe I need the brown connector 
which I have right here. And you just snap that in. Um, and there's also a waterproof uh, sealing gasket on that so that you don't have any issues with water getting that. So obviously this is a mess in here. I need to do a little bit of wire management, which I will do. So you basically repeat this process on the left side of the bike, get everything connected. And once I do that, I will then show you what these look like um, once they're connected and all the flashing and how they operate with the magic strobes. So there you have it guys. I've installed both the plasma rods on the right and left side of the bike. As you can see now, they're flashing in yellow. And again, in addition, I've got the Genesis 4 here. I've got the low profile bags lights here sequential. The plugs lights, which I'm not sure if you can see those in the camera. And then obviously the plasma rods here. So I will now, um, I also have these connected to the magic strobes, which will get a strobing pattern. And let me show you that right now. So there is a strobing pattern from the magic strobes. Again, I have the X pattern. Everything is strobing, including the tri bar light, which I'm not sure is showing up actually in the camera very, very low. But again, I want to thank Custom Dynamics for sending me these dual color plasma rods to install on the 2019 Road King Special. It gives me, again, another level of safety that I can make sure that I'm seeing either day or night when turning or braking. And I wanna leave you with this. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.